Hi, welcome to my washroom. Today I'm having a mental breakdown. What do regular people do when they have a mental breakdown? They dye their hair. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna dye my hair. So I'm not about to damage my hair, so I'm only using a temporary hair dye, and it's Colorista in the shade Red 30. This will be gone in like two weeks, so I hope that by the time this is out of my hair, the mental breakdown will be out of my system. Okay, not gonna waste any time. Let's just section off my hair and then dye it. Okay, before I do anything drastic, I'm going to take some, what's this called? Vaseline, and I'm gonna put it around the edges of my hair. Now that I have Vaseline all over my head, I'm going to take some gloves and I'm going to have a party. So it's very difficult to like section off my hair and then take it out. So I think I'm just going to let the whole half of my head down. That might not be a good idea, but you know, let's just... Let's just lift it up. It looks like there's blood all over my washroom. Speaking of blood, there's this kid in one of my classes and like his arm was bleeding, so he took the blood and like made a sign of the cross on his forehead with his own blood. Should I be worried? Okay, so the dye is all in my hair and now I'm gonna let it sit for 45 minutes. So the timer is finished, now I'm just going to rinse out my hair and then take a shower and then I'll dry it and then see if I like it. Hello? Well the color really took. I think I like the recording. Oh. <laughs> Don't include me. Do not include me. Darker than the bottom of my hair, but I like it. I'm glad I did it. Um, yeah, that's it. Wait, that is not the end of the video. I decided to be a complete buffoon and just. Y you'll see. Hey, so I'm in a different location now because I like to switch things up. And I just went to school and I've been compared to many people today. Some of them being Strawberry Shortcake, Lava Girl, Poison Ivy, Aquaman's Lover. But the person who I was most compared to, Danielle Bergoli. So I decided to give the people what they want. They wanted Bad Baby, they're gonna get Bad Baby. Okay, so I have on my Danielle Bergoli outfit. Uh, very baddy. I don't really know how she like does her makeup. I think it's like really bare. Like I don't think I don't think she actually wears a lot of makeup. But I do know that she has really big eyelashes. Does she have red eyebrows? Did I do anything? <laughs> now all I have to do is put on the big eyelashes. Like this isn't this isn't a hard transformation. I can't see. Okay. Does she even wear makeup? Since she's a baddie, she wears like big hoops, right? <laughs> oh, she has tattoos. Okay, well she's got like a, a baby right here, but I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. Oh, on her shoulder, she's got a rose that says family first. That's not a rose. <laughs> So I'm going to have to work it backwards in the mirror. You're not actually looking at me. Here, this is me. Hello. That's a mirror. I don't know if that checks you. <laughs> so the last thing is that Danielle Bergogli has a belly button piercing and I have a very low pain tolerance. So I'm not going to piece my belly button. I'm just going to get an earring. It's a snowflake, don't judge. And I'm going to glue it on my belly button. Bad baby look. Oh. I'm gonna part my hair in the middle. The only thing I'm missing is like huge nail. 
Good Gucci flip flops. He hit you to my side. I'd like to thank my parents for letting me dye my hair, Danielle Bergoli for being iconic, and you for watching. Alright, <laughs> see you next time. Bye!